Let's catch up with the royal family now. What is going on? Well, the story is this. Meghan's popularity falls to record low in a new poll. Public opinion of the Duchess of Sussex has fallen to a record low, with seven in ten people having a negative view of her. This is according to a new poll. Meghan's net favourability, what kind of a word is that, among the public has fallen, would you believe this, to minus 47, the lowest it's been since YouGov began recording her scores in 2017. About 68% of people have a negative view of the Duchess of Sussex, with one in five holding a positive view. So that's just 21% of people with a positive view of her. You may be one of them. You may not like this one bit. On the other hand, you may be one of many people sharing this negative opinion of her. Let's talk about it to our Royal Editor, Sarah Hewson. Hi, Sarah. Hello to you, Vanessa. Hello. Well, this doesn't sound good. Minus 47. Yeah, and as you said, Vanessa, this is the lowest favourability rating that Megan has had since YouGov started tracking it in 2017 as uh, her relationship with Prince Harry went public and just ahead of their marriage. So minus 47 in a net favourability rating, and they achieved that by looking at the positives and the negatives. And, and Megan was there at, at minus 47. Uh, Prince Harry also in the minuses. His number has fallen since April when it was last tracked, but it is actually up for Harry uh, since uh, then in, in January of this year when, of course, Spare had come out. This polling was done at the beginning of June, so that was following that car chase infamous now car chase in New York, described by the couple as near catastrophic, but leading many to question uh, their account of what went on. And just as Prince Harry was appearing in court here in London, um, it doesn't look good, <coughs> but it probably won't be any surprise to anyone. Uh, I don't know, though, Vanessa, whether you know who is the most popular of the royal family. Have you got a guess? Um, Kate. It's not. Who is it's it? Princess Anne. And it's she is up there Oh, well, because she's 60. such a hard worker, isn't she? Exactly. And it just shows, doesn't it, that hard work pays off mm. in the public perception. Do you think, do we know whether Meghan is affected by these sorts of polls or whether there are just so many polls of this kind that you could find one every day somewhere in the world saying something either negative or positive? Do we, do we have any insight or any inkling about whether she's upset or she will care about this? Well, I think we learned from Prince Harry's court case that they're, they're quite thin skinned, mm. actually, and they read everything about them, every article, and they even read the comments under the articles as well. So they will be aware of this tracking. It's not going to look good, but I think really they're more interested in the American market, and I think they would expect to have this kind of reaction in Britain. But YouGov is a very reputable organisation. Yes. It's a poll of 2,000 people. It is regular tracking that is done every quarter on the royal family, so it does mean something. Yes, and, and, and I wonder whether it matters more now to the Sussexes than it, it did in the past when, um, as we know, their Spotify deal has fallen through. It looks as if their Netflix deal might not continue, not necessarily guaranteed that it will. Sounds as if the D or deal that people thought might be forthcoming won't be forthcoming and they'll be looking for sources of income. So they won't want uh, a kind of flavour or a kind of whiff of unpopularity to hang about their person because it just makes them less employable, less attractive. Yes, and you mentioned there the deal ordeal, uh, Vanessa. And since we spoke on Monday and we were talking about this multi-million pound deal that looked in the offing for Meghan with the French fashion house, Dior have sought to distance themselves and said they haven't had any contact and there have been no conversations about it. I mean, we don't know that it's not happening, but it, it doesn't look likely. And of course, big brands like that are going to be looking at how popular these people are. If you're going to have someone representing your brand, mm -hmm. you want them to be someone that is well respected and well liked by the public. I mean, I guess they get plenty of publicity, don't they? And they mm -hmm. certainly bring plenty of attention with them. But if you want somebody to represent your brand that is right up there in the public opinion, well, certainly in Britain, at least, that's not the case for Meghan and Harry certainly right now. Certainly not. Let's, let's talk about Ascot. What's going on there? A great deal of, of paying tribute to the Queen and the traditions that she uh, so was so beloved of the Queen, weren't they? 
Yes, Royal Ascot, it is the fourth uh, day today and the Prince and Princess of Wales have made their first appearance at the event. They took part in the Royal Procession in a carriage alongside uh, William's cousin, Princess Beatrice and her husband, Edo, following the, the King and the Queen. Kate looking fabulous in a scarlet Alexander McQueen dress. There was a lovely moment between Kate and the Duchess of Edinburgh uh, when uh, Sophie appeared to have a win and uh, she was cheering and punching the air and uh she uh, checked her bag checked a betting slip and got a thumbs up uh from kate so a winner <laughs> for Sophie, following on from the winner for the King and Queen yesterday. Uh, their horse, Dead Desert Hero, uh, had a win, 18 to one uh, shot yesterday. The horse bred by the late Queen. They were quite emotional when their horse came in. And, and uh, Zara Tyndall saying that it was a bittersweet moment because everyone was thinking just how much the late Queen would have loved it. The King had a horse running today, not so lucky, but one more chance uh, tomorrow He's got Kings Lynn running in the Wokingham Stake at five o'clock tomorrow, at the final day of Royal Ascot. And do we think he shares his mother's enthusiasm and affection, or do we think we, he's just doing it kind of in her memory? Or how much is he really relishing it, would you say? Well, I guess he might be relishing it a bit more after the win yesterday, yeah. at Vanessa, because that always helps, doesn't it? Look, he doesn't share his mother's passion for horse racing in the same way and i think uh, camilla once spoke about it and said that he preferred partaking in sports like that and we know he was a keen polo player in his youth rather than watching them but he has made a point of being there every day this week the first royal ascot of his reign it's really important that royal connection uh, to this the queen barely missed it she only missed it last year because of her mobility issues uh, she it was said to be her favorite event she was Royal Ascot's biggest fan, I think you could safely say. And uh, King Charles, not the same, but we'll see how that evolves over the course of his reign. 